Hey there all craft beer lovers, time for another beer review. So for this one guys we are once again going back to Ontario, Canada, to the city of Hamilton. Uh, we're taking a look at another collective arts brewing company offering. This time around we're taking a look at their blueberry sour with cacao nibs. It comes to us in a 473 milliliter can or one pint can clocking in at 5.6% ABV. There you go. Collective Arts Blueberry Sour of Cacao Nibs. That sounds absolutely fantastic. And there's the artwork there. Limited release, keep cold, blah, blah, blah. And that's it. Contains barley malt. And that's what they're telling us, basically. Right, so let's get it out, see what we have then. There we go. A little bit of smoke. And this beer is going out. Oh, looks really good. Let's stop right there. So, in view, guys, what do we have? We have approximately one finger there of a nice, creamy, soft looking head. A little bit pinkish, whitish head, I have to say. Looks very nice. Look at that. Hazy and murky as you like. A ruby red almost. Dark. A little bit or light red perhaps more more light red looks nice let's get the aroma on this one then yeah get the cocoa in there definitely a little bit of cocoa and chocolate vibes yeah a little bit of a berry berry kind of uh, vibe lurking about in the background but I, foremost i do get that chocolate in there or the cacao nibs yeah Smells really nice, so with that said guys, let's dive in. Cheers! Yeah, oh. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, what a nice, interesting beer actually. Very, very interesting. Mmm. So... Yeah, uh, oh, I have to go for another one right away before I'm starting to kind of deconstruct this beer. So, you definitely have the cacao in there. Nice kind of a choc chocolatey vibe throughout. Uh, you do get a kind of a berry feel to the beer as well. Very interesting, but it's kind of subdued, so it's not sharp, not sharp at all. And I mean, it is marketed as a, uh, well, a sour beer, basically. Yeah, sour, but it, it kind of almost lacks that acidity, it lacks the sourness. But it's more emphasis on that, that cacao, chocolate, and a little bit of that berry thing. Interesting. Now... There are a couple of downsides as well to this one. The flavors are quickly dissipating, unfortunately. So it kind of leaves you with a little bit of, well, a little bit of a meh feeling there. Lingers slightly, but then kind of disappears. It's more that chocolate again. And another plus is the mouthfeel because it's pretty well balanced I have to say between that little bit of nice carbonated prickliness there and a smooth mouthfeel very interesting beer actually let's pour the rest of it in there we go not bad at all I have to say right there we go let's go for the final sip on this one guys mm. Mm. Yeah, so it's very refreshing, very interesting, a uh, good deal of cacao in there, uh, downplayed uh, acidity, almost no acidity, in fact, to be absolutely honest. A little bit of a nice blueberry hint there as well, super nice mouthfeel, perfectly balanced there between that prickly carbonation and that smoothness. Uh, yeah, a little bit too 
quick, uh, quickly dissipating flavors, unfortunately, so not much of an aftertaste, but all in all, a very nice, refreshing summer beer, I have to say. Uh, Collective Arts Brewing Company out of Canada, we're taking a look at their blueberry sour cacao nibs today. Uh, rating for me, it's a solid 3.5 out of 5. It could have been a little bit higher rating if there had been a little bit more pronounced aftertaste and a little bit more oomph to it. Uh, so, yeah, but solid 3.5 out of 5. That was everything I had for today. Thumb me up if you liked the review. Thanks for watching, guys.